Alright guys, we are rolling. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Just like I've been rolling on this Life Skateboards. And I have no idea if it's similar to the original 90s Life brand that like, you know, Soldier Story, Keen Liu, Sean Sheffy, all that stuff. No idea. But anyways, um, it's been an interesting skateboard. It's like an artisan skateboard created by a dude that actually does real live carpentry furniture and stuff. Um, and yes, it's built like a well-built piece of furniture too. So when I first got this board, the first thing I noticed is that it is, it's thick. Like, let's be honest, it's thick. It's a log. When you ride this thing, it has a different resonance. Like it doesn't make the same sound as a skateboard. It like absorbs and disperses it different. I, the only way you'll know is after you ride one. But normally a skateboard is made out of thinner plies. I don't know what the actual dimension is, again in subtitles, but this one is made out of 16th of an inch thick plies. Although apparently, I've had this one for a long time. I've been sitting on it for a while. Apparently the newer ones, um, the cross plies are a bit thinner. So they're not all as thick. For anything nine inches and under, you will be getting a slightly thinner board than the one I have in this video. So yeah, when I first got this board, I was like super daunted. Like I could feel it. I was like, whoa, that's thick. Whoa, it's heavy. To give you an idea, it is roughly 1500 grams. And most boards of this size, this is 8.125, are going to be about 1200 to 1250. So that's a big difference. And you can feel it the moment you pick it up. However, in spite of that, the kicks are like a medium to medium mellow. And with indies, it kind of works perfect. So even though this thing's super heavy, it doesn't have a heavy pop feel. I do notice that I get a little bit less height on some of my flip tricks, but between the steep concave here and the kind of mellow kicks, it seems to have me being able to do all of my flip tricks pretty darn decently. I'm not winning like pop of the year awards, but I am able to consistently land all of my tricks and they're pretty enjoyable too. Okay, let's take a closer look at this thing. So we got this dyed veneer here, nice blue, and then we have like an ink printed graphic. So he's got these like pads, like stencils-ish, not stencils, totally different than a stencil. It's like an ink pad that, you know, he presses on some ink and then presses on the skateboard and it leaves these sweet graphics. And he's got a ton of graphics. Hopefully I've been showing you guys some pictures in this video already. Um, but yeah, so this is a big, thick, and initially intimidating board. But what I would say is that like, I don't think my style of skateboards is necessarily what this guy is most well known for. So I think the boards that they make that people are gonna be most interested are gonna be like the bull trolls and the curb crushers looking for those nine inch plus boards with like super funky shapes. Really hope my mic is doing okay in this wind. <laughs> it's so windy out here, you guys. Sorry guys, we just had to check the footage real quick to make sure that this mic was cutting out most of the wind because it's way windier than it looks right here. Hopefully it hasn't been too bad. But yeah, getting back to this board. So it's big, thick, heavy, stiff. Oh, it's stiff. Like it's almost too stiff. I've been skating in vans these days and um, honestly I could use a board with a bit less concave. But if you like a board that like your foot is locked into, yeah, you're gonna get it. However, they do have, I think, two other concaves as well that you can spec. So I did mention that I was initially hesitant to ride this board. When I first set it up, I put Indy 144 standards on, and then I also had conical full 53 millimeters. So, you know, my trucks were wider than my board and my wheels were definitely wide, and this board definitely felt pretty big and clunky. Next, I put it on Indy mids with these super worn down classics, and that was a wicked combo. I super enjoyed that. But what we have it on right now is I actually went to Indy standard, like just your 55 millimeter tall standards. And I'd say this is the winning combo because it's now tall enough that I'm getting decent pop, but it's still not so kind of, like with the mids, it felt low. And even though I had consistent flip tricks, they were also consistently low. But now with the increased only three millimeters of height difference in truck, I now actually have a little more pop. I'm getting a little more vertical leap. 
turning great, it's feeling great. 14 and a quarter inch wheelbase on this one. I don't think we need to get into too many specifics about dimensions because if you're buying a board from these guys, you can get a custom skateboard or you can look at all their dimensions of all the crazy curb crushing bull troll boards that are out there. So yeah, let's get back to like, should you get one of these? All right, if you're a board princess that likes a thin little flip stick, um, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this. You know, it's gonna feel thick and heavy and you might struggle with it. However, if you're super butch and you want a thick, like solid piece of furniture skateboard, that's probably gonna outlast your old knees, Life Skateboards might be the place to look. Definitely, like, these skateboards are kind of an investment over a disposable little, you know, mass-produced skateboard pooped out of a factory. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked on this board. I've been chatting for a while because I keep saying the wrong things in my video and it's taken us a few takes. And you know what? I actually want to ride this board instead of talking at the camera. So I'm going to do that now. Um, yeah. Okay, I, I'm, I'm doing that. Okay, you guys, I am, that was a really loud scooter sound of back there. Could you hear that? <laughs> okay, we're right, getting back to it, you guys. Yeah, um, I had fun on this board. I'm gonna start again. I'm bagged. This is where I've talked to the camera too much all day, but you just keep rolling. All right, you guys, I'm done. Um, it's been a long day. Filmed two Vancouver Carpenter videos before this, so if I'm fumbling over my words a little bit that's why I'm just all talked out but yeah there is something that I can't put my finger on that I really like about this board you know like yeah it's it feels too heavy it feels really thick and then I ride it and it's like something about it is just kind of awesome that I can't put my finger on I don't know if I could have it be my daily rider because you know, whenever I jump back on another board, I can definitely feel like my board coming up a little faster and my tricks being a little more popped. So it's not about that, but it's like something about the logginess and the stiffness just makes this board feel like so nice and snappy and other boards feel so wimpy by comparison. So yeah, I really am interested in maybe getting another one of these made, like even more custom spec to my personal preferences. A little bit thinner, a little bit bigger nose, like just tweak it to my exact specs. I think it could be a daily rider for sure, especially with the right trucks and wheels on there. So yeah, if you're interested in life skateboards, hit them up, let them know. You can find them on Instagram. Anyways, that's all I have to say about it. I think they're pretty rad and I think it's a pretty rad dude running the shop. So um, yeah, if you want to support a North American business and uh, some hand, hand crafted wooden products, 
I think you should. Check them out. So yeah, um, I have to go now. I'm super tired. It's so hot out today, you guys. So yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I know you want me to ramble more for the classic Bendigo rambly outro, and I'm, I don't have it in me. It'll be a bad one. So let's just end it now. I, I should have done a Costanza and left the room while I was on a high note, but there was no high note to leave on. I'm still talking. It's just getting worse. It's time to go. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm actually doing surprisingly well in spite of this rambling.